What's up guys, welcome back to Beast of Reviews and we're here with another review. Got ourselves a Jordan 1 box. You know by the thumbnail what shoe this is, so I won't waste your time. I will talk about this box though. It, it did get a little bit beat up in its journey. Unfortunately, the seller did not double box the shoe box and this is what happened. So I did reach out to them, said that's a no-no. So they did make sure that they did send another pair and they came double box. But you know, we don't really care about it ultimately because no one else is gonna see this box except for me and you. So let's just go ahead, get past that point. But before we open up the box or show you anything else, you know I gotta hit you with that disclaimer. I do not condone or authorize the selling or reselling of UA fake wrap alternates or whatever you wanna call it type shoes. If you decide to get shoes like this, remember you're always doing it at your own risk. Now, let's go ahead and see how battered this thing got. Yeah, it got pretty bruised up. I feel bad for it, I feel bad for it, but the contents are still good. And the label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, color is Sale black starfish yes that coveted starfish and this was back when they only retailed at 160 dollars so yes sir let's go ahead flip that lid Ooh, all right all right or what i think we gotta pull these things out take a closer look at them i got some things to talk about so let's go ahead and set them up the air jordan one shattered backboard 2.0 O's. And yeah, it's just easy to say that retail pairs did not come like this. And when I first put them out of the box, I was like, oh man, this is a problem. And here's the problem, guys. If you've ever seen Shattered Backboards, well, the 2.0s at least, they come in pretty good leather, but it ain't like crazy soft tumbled leather. And unfortunately, for me, I did request the most tumbleless, if that's the word, tumbleless, softest, plushest, wrinkliest leather that they had. And boy, they sent me the most tumbleless pair of shattered backboards they had. And these things are ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Look at this leather on here. I'm going to get called out so quickly because everyone and their mother knows Jordan brand didn't supply this type of leather or no retail pairs of shattered backboards. Now, <laughs> do I care? Hells no. I'm going to rock the crap out of these. But I'm just letting you know, if you expect to get this from retail or a pair that you buy from StockX or Goat or eBay or whatever, it ain't going to happen. I'm just letting you know this probably is a major tell. The quality on this shoe, and we'll go around it right now, is freaking excellent. It has nice stitching. There's no glue stains whatsoever. Everything is excellent on this shoe, except for the fact that the quality of the leather might be a tad overkill. Guys, this is ridiculous. Re absolute ridiculous. And it's not like just fake pebbled leather this is really look at that if i put my finger behind it you can see it kind of smooths out because this is like real tumbled leather like that nasty 101 year old lady booty leather i mean retail i've seen retail pairs and they just it just don't happen one out of like ten thousand pairs of retail would come with that leather like this but the fact that i was just able to request it and i got it and I got more than I ever bargained for. I mean, I gotta be careful what I asked for. <laughs> I did get a UA pair of the Shattered Backboard 1.0s. I did a review uh, probably last year and uh, they were pretty damn good too, but they were nothing like these. These go above and beyond anything you're gonna cop from retail. What should I do? Should I just not wear these because they, they just way too, too wrinkly and, and tumbly? Look at that Nike nice and crisp it's got the rr the double r i think that was something that people used to look for on the uh reps comes with two pairs of laces we have our uh shatter backward laces and we got our cell laces i'm gonna tell you right now i'm only gonna rock the black laces i'm not even gonna do it on foot with anything other than the black laces because I'm sorry, the black laces are the way to go. <laughs> it has a shattered backboard, inner sole, it has the black guts. Another thing that I can say about this shoe is that it was most likely made a while ago. Like this isn't like a recent reproduction. This shoe was probably made a year or two ago. Um, and 
for that, it actually smells more like a regular Jordan than anything. Because if you ever get a UA shoe and it has a strong smell of glue, well, the reason is because a lot of the UA shoes are recently produced and they're not sitting in like warehouses uh, waiting for release dates for like months on months on months where the glue scent has a chance to dissipate. Um, so this is what happens. You get shoes that were manufactured just weeks, you know, prior to you receiving them so yes they're going to have that glue smell still but this shoe actually smells more like a retail pair than any other shoe that i've ever received let's go ahead and take a look at the other shoe laces all falling out and, oh, yeah it's just as bad man this is utterly nasty they went bananas on these shoes i'm trying to portray the softness but you can see if I put my finger behind the leather, how it gets smooth. So it's not like a fake pebble on some of these like um, Jordans that they're coming out with. Like, look at that. Look, it gets smooth when I go behind it. So <laughs> real pebble, like pebbles and Bam Bam, Flintstone style. They look good. They have the right shape to them. And they got that hourglass figure. Yeah, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Thank the uh, the sender for sending these out to me. And uh, yeah, and they've already corrected the mistake with the box. The next pair of shoes that I received from them was double box. You haven't seen that review yet. It's gonna come up next. I was surprised about a particular aspect of this upcoming shoe and you probably gonna wanna see it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and end this video off with an on foot. If you liked the video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new here, please think about hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you be notified every time your boy drops a brand new video. All right, guys, now on to the on foot. I'm out of this, John, guys. Later with Shattered Backboard 2.0s. Man, I gotta send these back.